Today's cigar on offer is the 300 Hands Connecticut. Normally I don't like Connecticut, but more and more I've found that I like that as my first cigar of the day. It's just nice to have something lighter than normal and then you can get to the heavy stuff. It just, it just works. Uh, the, this one's called 300 Hands because interestingly, the, uh, the founder who, who founded Southern Draw Cigars uh, actually went through and figured out, they did, they did a whole bunch of different uh, uh, statistics and found out it takes an average of 300 hands touching the plant, the tobacco plant from uh, seed all the way up and through uh, to actually packaging it and getting it to uh, wherever it is that you buy it from. It takes about 300 hands uh, touching that cigar. And I asked Rob Holt, I asked him, well, now is that a pair of hands? Is it really 150 people or is it 300 people? And he said, well, first, that was a good question. He seems, you know, slightly annoyed by my pedantry. But uh, he said that basically it, it's touched 300 times from uh, that lonely little seed uh, to uh, getting it into the grow house, to getting it to the fields, to uh, cutting off the, uh, the extra uh, tobacco leaves so you only have the Lajero and the Primero. Uh, and then, uh, you know, actually getting it out of the, the field and into the aging room, uh, and then rotating it and rotating it and rotating it for years until they're ready to roll it. And then you have the rolling and then the boxing, uh, putting in the box press or, or whatever press it is they, they use. Uh, and then, uh, from there <clears throat> you have putting on the label and then you have putting in the cellophane, and then you have it in the packaging, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So 300 Hands has touched this and every one of their cigars. Uh, they apparently only have two uh, people who will uh, roll a specific size and a specific cigar. Uh, and he said he liked couples because they usually uh, work well together. If one calls out sick, the other one knows to come in, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, but... Uh, that's that's just really neat for for a subculture cigar for a, for a cigar that is uh, not mainstream. Uh, that's that's pretty awesome.